Now we will compare the transistor versus the thyristor. Okay, what are the similarities and dissimilarities? Transistor versus thyristor. Okay. Now you know the transistor. It is, it may be PNP or NPN. First uh, section is called emitter, center one is base and third one is collector. PNP and NPN again, emitter, base, collector. Base layer is very thin as compared to emitter and collector. And you know the base controls the, you know, current flowing from emitter to the collector. And uh, similarly, AC are having the four layers P and P N. This one is called anode, this one is called cathode. Like in transistor, it is called emitter and collector. Emitter to emit, collector to collect. Similarly, from anode, the current starts and uh, current goes from anode to cathode. Like in transistor, base controls the current. Similarly, here the gate controls the here the gate controls the current flowing from anode to the cathode and this is a symbol okay uh, both are used in the switching applications both are semiconductor devices both are good in efficiency and low cost both are three terminal device like a major terminal base collector here a node gate and both provide a good controlled range of current with a small controlling current. We are small controlling like at base or like at the gate. So transistor is made up of three alternating semiconductor layers. Okay. And there are two PN junctions. Like junction, this junction, PN junction, this one, and then NP junction. Or you can say emitter base junction and then second you know collector base junction there are two junctions and similarly in case of NPN transistor large collector to emitter current is controlled by the small base current this is a very important property of the transistors base is very important it controls the current now thyristor is made up of four layers and consisting of three PN junction. First junction, second junction, third junction. If we are giving positive potential here, negative potential here, then junction J1 comes to forward biased. J3 comes to forward bias, but J2 becomes reverse biased. Okay, three junctions giving positive and negative. J1, J3 forward bias, and J2 reverse biased. Now, the SCR, you know, uh, you know, there are four layers and uh, it can be supposed a structure like this there are two transistors okay there are two transistor this one is p n p p n p matlab like like this p n p and second transistor like n p n n p n okay and uh, you know this transistor PNP you know this is the base and from here the transistor NPN this one is the collector base and collector base of above you know base of the above transistor is connected with the collector of the down transistor down one tran this was this the down transistor collector base of above and collector of this one they are coupled so looking here 
this one is you know like base this terminal is base and this terminal is collector so there they are connected now coming here from above this is a collector of above transistor and from down this is a base of the down transistor okay so this is the base of down and collector of the above they are coupled so in this way this SCR can be supposed to be made up of two transistor and coupling is like this as shown here okay uh, this one transistor is uh, uh, you know PNP arrow in volt arrow in volt mean PNP and uh, this one transistor is NPN arrow outward outward mean N NPN so two are coupled and becomes SCR so SCR can be considered tightly coupled pair of transistors right so gate controls the here gate controls the current Thyristor requires a pulse to change into the conduction, okay? And power loss in transistor is higher than that of the thyristor. Thyristor is good as compared to the transistor in concern with the power losses, okay?